Thanks for all the likes, subscribes and comments that have been left on my other Brother Label Printer videos. Here's one of those comments from one of them gamers HD, aka Ryan, who asks, can you use the Brother QL600 for Amazon FBA UPS labels? Spoiler alert, yes you can. I'm going to show you how in this video. Thanks to Ryan for sending over an example PDF, which I'm able to use to test and show you how to do that today. And also thanks for this other comment that I got in particular from a channel that I'm sure doesn't live up to its name, pointing out why don't you go ahead and use the built-in snapshot tool in Foxit PDF Reader rather than using the Windows um, snipping tool. So we're going to also look at how we can use that to get the best quality labels. Okay, so I've just opened up the Amazon FBA UPS label uh, PDF file. I'm using Foxit Reader. I'll link to that in the video description below. So it might be worth using that if you want to follow along with this video. Uh, I do recommend it over, say, Adobe Acrobat or certainly over using um, your browser, for example, to view a PDF file. So here we can see we've got the two labels. I'm having to blur out quite a lot, as you can imagine, for personal information in these. Uh, um, but you can see the method I use and hopefully follow along. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways of approaching this. Uh, we'll start with what I would describe as the main label, which is at the bottom here. Um, this is the same, I believe, as any other UPS label. So you'll be able to use this for just general UPS printing on the Brother QL600 or 700. And I think it'd be the same for the 800 too. So the first thing we're going to do is actually um, come up to the top left and click on the select tool. So make sure you're on that. It's under the home tab here. And then you notice if you come down to this uh, bottom label here and you left click once, it actually selects the whole area as a selectable image. So that's really handy. Um, you can then right click and then you should get the copy option. So you can just use control C of course, or select copy here. That means we've now got that image in the clipboard of our computer, so we're able to paste it. You can probably guess what's coming next if you've watched some of my other videos on the QL600 and using different types of labels and printing like the Royal Mail and Hermes. So yeah, what we're gonna do is then open up the P-Touch editor software. Uh, you're just gonna select new blank layout. Make sure that you've got horizontal orientation set up. So if you're not sure or you haven't, click on the paper option up here towards the top left and then just pick horizontal. You should see that you've got the 62 millimeter uh, indicator over here on the left. So obviously going vertical in this case. And then you can just paste your label straight into there. So there it is. Um, the extra bit of white you get on the end here, that's just part of that image file. So don't worry about that. It doesn't really matter. Um, you should see, you know, it all looks nice and clear in here. And then of course the trick's gonna be getting the print settings right, as you'll have seen me do before in the other videos as well. So come up to file, come onto the print menu, and then we're just gonna make sure we've got the best settings in place. So on the output drop down here, you know that I like to pick high resolution. Um, I like to ensure that I've got priority to print quality also ticked down below and you should already have auto cut. So it cuts the label once it's done printing selected. Come over onto the properties tab next. And then again, we're just gonna see that quality high resolution has stayed there. Um, we've importantly, of course, got the 62 millimeter paper size selected. You should already have that if you've been using your P-Touch software with the printer. And then come over onto the advanced tab. So we're gonna change a couple of things here as normal. So we're gonna select the middle option um, to pick for text and graphics dither. And then we're gonna take the brightness on the slider scale all the way down to minus 20. And we're gonna put the contrast all the way up to plus 20. And then the final change, we're gonna come over onto the other tab and we're gonna tick the box that says arrange the font stroke. Once that's selected, you can then come down and click okay. And then we're ready to hit print. Okay, now we're going to look at a method we can use for this top label in the uh, PDF sheet. So we can't use the same method that I just showed you on the bottom label because you can't select this area of the PDF sheet in the same way, but that's not a problem. Now you remember in previous videos, I've shown you um, how to hold down the Windows key, the Shift key and S 
So you use the window snipping tool and then you can drag around an area that you want to select. It copies it into the clipboard and then you could paste that into the, the Brother um, printing uh, software. What we're actually going to do is something slightly different. It's based on one of those comments that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So thank you again um, for providing that. And if you guys want to add your own comments and approaches to printing these kind of labels down below, please do. Um, so what it's going to be is this snapshot tool in the top left. So if you click on that and then in much the same way, drag a border around the label area. I like to give it a bit of extra space because I found it does need that sometimes to print the full thing. Let go, you're going to see that it's selected. You're going to get this message, the selected area has been copied to the clipboard. Click OK to that one. And then if you right click in there, we're going to get the option to print without leaving the PDF software. So without leaving Foxit Reader, not needing to go into the Brother software. So we're going to pick print there. And then of course, there's just going to be a few more settings that we need to get right, because we can see in the preview here, it's not looking great at the moment. So first things first, check that you've got the Brother QL600 or if you're using the QL700 or 800 selected as the printer in the top left here. Uh, that's looking good for me. Uh, orientation I think won't actually matter at the moment, but I've got landscape selected here if you want to follow what I'm doing. And then I've got fit to printer margin selected down below. That's all good. Um, come into the properties tab next to the printer up here in the top right. And the first thing that's going to really help us is to get the paper size right. So the Brother QR600 takes 62 millimeter label roll. So click on the drop down here and just click 62 millimeter. That's going to be the biggest change that we're going to make that's going to get us back on track. Um, on the quality setting, as you know, I like to pick high resolution here. And then on the advanced tab, we're going to change the same things we did before. So middle option for text and graphics dither. And then we're going to take the brightness all the way down to minus 20. And we're going to put the contrast all the way up to plus 20. And then we're going to make the same change we made earlier on the other tab as well. We're going to click to select to arrange the font stroke. Click OK to that and hopefully you can see that it's all looking much better. Don't worry that it's upside down, of course that doesn't matter when you print, but you can see it's looking like it's filling the whole label. Um, you're now in position to click OK and go ahead and print. So once you've printed both those labels off, hopefully you'll be left with something looking a little less blurry, but just like this. Um, here's the two labels side by side with a 20p just for scale. Uh, now, as I recommend in my other videos, and I'll link down below to an app you can use on an Android device, test that the barcode scan by using an app, test that the uh, maxi code scans by using that particular app I've linked to in enabling maxi code reading in the menu, and then you should have good confidence to dispatch uh, your packages with UPS and know that you've done it for a bargain price using the QL600 from Brother. I've dropped my affiliate link to buy it down in the description below. So if you do buy it from Amazon, that means you'll pay the regular price, but I'll get a small percentage back. So if this video has been useful, if it has helped, that's one way you can show it's helped um, for free. You can like, subscribe um, and comment down below, please, just giving your thoughts or any improvements or suggestions or any issues. And I'll try and get back to you. All right. Cheers, guys.